Hey guys, it's Taika. We are going to be checking out, you already knew it was going to come, Dreamcatcher on I music video dance video version, thingamajiggy. I'm just going to call it performance music video. Um, I'm super duper excited for this. I'm in love with the choreography, checked out the dance practice. The shots of the choreography in the music video were really, really sick and I love those sets, especially the one with like the red on it um, in the back and stuff. That was so killer and stuff. So I'm excited to be just seeing the choreography once again because it's amazing choreography and it's in the music video sets and stuff. I knew this was coming, so my body is ready for this one. So you know what it like, oh. Oh, they play with the solo stuff too? Playing with me. That's all I know. Oh, I like how they do the flashes of red. Like it's very stylized too. Little flashes. Probably just black frames, I don't know. Or cuts to different things. Oh, the silhouettes? They know I like silhouettes. I love how this is edited. And it goes to like close ups and everything. Not jarring, very clean editing. I don't know what clean editing is, but it is clean. They had those, the red light in Scream. Too as well, for performing choreography part. I'm sure the choreography would work without like all the fun editing and fun camera tilts and whatnot, but this is sick. Oh, that's cool how they came out from the back. And I'm loving them, I love those outfits. I think some of the, this is probably some of the best, like, in terms of, like, performance video editing, yeah, because people don't really put all this into a performance edit. I really try to make it look that stylized, like how it does. Oh, they had the blue light? Hold up, go back. Come back to it, please, come on. You just can't show up for a frame and just play with me like that. But even just, like, get how flashes are in the pro- I assume they're just putting black frames. Her abs? She on since when, girl? Chill. They're gonna cut to the blue light, are they? Unless that was post production. I just spit everywhere. My bad. But that pink light is sick too. See, those flashes just work for it. And it's so easy to cut between different stuff there, and they do. Like, it's just not cutting to a black frame or whatever. They're, in some of those, they're cutting to different shots completely. Love it. I loved it. I love the choreography already. I love how the camera angles and all this craziness that's happening do work for the choreography too as well. Also like getting the closer up like shots or whatever because in their dance practice they have the really wide shots so you don't get to see all the close, all the closest now up in their business. But this gives us an opportunity to be up in their business. You know what I mean? And I love it. The sets and the lighting for the music video were so sick. Showcases it here wonderfully. I loved how they use it even to with the choreography during Dami's part when the dancers come out from back from like behind these like uh, the panels I guess you would call them or the walls that was really, really cool I like how they did use it the lighting was really really sick this editing has to be the best for a performance music video N not normally they don't put this much effort into editing a performance music video oftentimes I do appreciate when they do completely different cuts than um, the music video had for the the shots or whatever I do appreciate that but just putting this much effort into putting in like when the flashing of the black frames or just the fl and different cuts to different things and again those really really smart move because you are cutting between different you can cut between different shots and even if it matches or even if it doesn't match it'll look really really seamless 
there too as well. I really enjoyed it. I think the editing was so sick for it and stuff. And I've talked about, I think, uh, Side Eyes, um, qu not Queen, what is it? Side Eyes, Yes Sir, being the best like framing and editing that I've seen for a video. I think just solely based off the framing. So this is this this one definitely up there too. If that one's number one, this is definitely number two, probably contender for number one. Because also how this really fits into the concept and really plays with the sound itself. That was really, really sick. And so I would say that side A is better because they go for really more wide shots where you get to see the whole choreography. And this one is putting in and out and stuff. But again, they drop like at three or four different performance um, dance videos. Um, so you're gonna see the choreography a lot. So that's why I'm not like super mad that it's cutting in and out and stuff because we already did see the dance practicing and I wouldn't be mad either way probably with them because I know we're getting all these different videos and stuff but I did really enjoy it. I think this editing was super sick. They showed a blue frame. I don't know. It was probably longer than a frame um, or, or was a frame. They showed a blue shot in there and I wish if that was legit a lighting situation I wish I would have cut to it more or if it was just something they did in post. Should have done it more. Like, ugh, it's, that's so. I feel so rude, like saying that, because all they did for the post production for this cut of the video, insane. But I did love it. I love the choreography. This is one of the best uh, performance music videos edited, but also shot because the angles are going crazy and whatnot and everything. But it's one of the best, I think, in my opinion. Definitely number two for me. In terms of overall, go to pretty thoughts and comments down below to that about Dreamcatcher's Odd Eye performance music video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you like me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or in the description down below, excuse me, or at the end screen, share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.